so you uh, join me today doing what I my bread and butter work which is uh, pre-purchase or owner's insurance surveys uh, lots of people hate owner insurance surveys where the insurance company insists on having a survey when the boat reaches about 25 30 years old in the UK I actually think it's quite good um, because it does tend to highlight things that may be going wrong with your boat especially if it's an inboard petrol as in the case of this boat I'm now going to show you a couple of things I found so this so this particular engine is a Mercury is a 5 litre V8 uh, quite a tidy little uh, installation it was rebuilt in about 2011 um, obviously carburetor so you've got the carburetor here with the flame arrestor air intake which is quite important you've got a set of risers here which look again not bad they've probably been replaced uh, as I say the engine was rebuilt in 2011 but more importantly what I've then looked at is the fuel system which is obviously being petrol it's really important to have good petrol management so this is an aluminium uh, fuel tank in here uh, you've got a fuel line in here which is, is supported but there's no fuel shut off and as soon as I opened the lid I could smell a bit of uh, petrol vapour which you know can be quite common uh, which is one of the reasons why it's so important to run uh, the air um, extractor on the engine before and after you've stopped it. So when before you start it, there's a, an air extractor which I've checked and it runs and I ran it for about 10 minutes. Uh, I haven't run the engine uh, at this point. Um, but it's really important if you are that you always run the air, air extraction for at least 10 minutes before you attempt to start an engine. But this is what I'm actually going to show you is that everyone checks the fuel lines but the number of people who forget to change or check the fuel uh, filler hose into the tank and in this case this is actually in really poor condition and it's got a lot of um, splitting of the casing which is probably why when I lifted the um, lid on this compartment I could smell vapour quite strong vapour and it's all coming from the splits in this hose down here uh, as I say for me I would like to see the fuel line changed at least every every 10 years and I would like to see some sort of means of stop tap on here that could be remotely pulled um, it, it, one day it might save your life so the recommendation here is to change obviously all the hoses the breather hose the filler hose and and the fuel line hose and I hope you find that useful because one day it might save your life